Good evening everyone. Today I am going to talk about hepatocellular carcinoma in disguise of giant hepatic hemangioma. Radiological imaging plays a crucial role in diagnosis of hepatocellular carcinoma. Hepatocellular carcinoma is usually diagnosed by dynamic contrast CT or MIR imaging showing typical contrast enhancement pattern in arterial phase and rapid washout in photovenous phase. However, there are a number of focal benign liver lesions that often mimic the appearance of HCC. These mimickers include non-tumorous arteriopotal shunts, fast filling hemangiomas, focal fat sparing slash deposits, inflammatory lesions, confluent fibrosis, angioma lipoma, focal nodular hypoplasia like nodules, and hemorrhagic, hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. Hepatic hemangioma is a common benign lesion of the liver and commonly found in females. The radiological features of both hemangioma and HCC can resemble similar often resulting in difficulty of differential diagnosis between the two and can cause preoperative definitive diagnosis a challenge. Herein we report a case of hepatocellular carcinoma mimicking as giant hepatic hemangioma on ultrasound of abdomen and CT scan. Case report A 70-year-old female presented to hospital with complaints of abdominal pain in the right upper quadrant since 5-6 to six months. The pain was intermittent and radiating in nature. She gave positive history of nausea, vomiting, with hardening and blood stains tools. Prior to refer to her hospital, her ultrasound report suggested benign lesion possible of giant hepatic hemangioma. She was referred to her hospital and underwent clinical examination, lab investigations, and CT of the abdomen. Her LFT showed serum bilirubin was slightly raised, serum albumin and total protein were little lower than normal. Serum HGPT was raised. Serum alkaline phosphatase was raised. CT of abdomen showed a large 16.1 into 12.5 into 20.2 cm size, ill-defined multilobulated, smooth marginated, heterogeneously attenuating lesion with few hypodense areas within, in the right lobe of liver. The lesion showed heterogeneous enhancement on post-contrast study, with enhancement of the lesion matching the blood pool on all the phases of contrast study. Medially, the lesion was seen compressing the intrahepatic IVC. Anteriorly, the lesion was seen aborting the anti-abdominal wall. Inferomedially, the lesion was seen aborting the gallbladder with near-maintained fat plane between. The lesion was also seen displacing the bowel ducts inferiorly. There was no evidence of calcification, associated cirrhosis, or infiltration into the surrounding structures. So, possibility of giant hepatic hemangioma was considered. A 5.7 mm size defect was also seen in the umbilical region through which momentum was seen protruding out, which was suggested by umbilical hernia. And a cyst was also seen in the upper fold of the left kidney, and few sub centimeter size cysts were also noted involving the right kidney. This is the a picture depicting hepatic lesion in the thin plane study. This is in the arterial phase. Portal phase it shows a well defined lesion with no early wash in or early wash out as seen in the venous phase there is no wash out early this is the thin delayed phase so impression was given as possibility of giant hepatic hemangioma needs to be considered and umbilical hernia with bilateral renal cyst uh, so surgical intervention of right hepatectomy was performed Histopath, it was given for histopathological correlation. Specimen received was right, right hepatectomy with gallbladder. Specimen showed cut surface of the liver showed multiple nodules of varying size, almost entirely replacing the liver pan gamma. The mass was solid, firm, yellow, light tan to pale green color. Histologically, malignant cells were arranged in solid pseudoglandular, macrotrabicular, and trabicular pattern. Few multinucleated tumor cells were also noted but it was confined to the liver. So a diagnosis of moderately differentiated grade 2 hepatocellular carcinoma was given. Pathology stage P2N. PT2N. The tumor cells were also seen infiltrating into the serosa of gallbladder. The diagnosis of HCC is generally made by radiological hallmarks of dynamic contrast imaging. A large number of HCCs may have a typical radiological contrast enhancement pattern due to tumor necrosis, fibrosis, fatty change, calcification, palliotic change, palli change, or portal vein thrombosis. HCCs with typical 
So typically radiological characteristics could mimic other benign hepatic masses, especially giant hepatic hemangioma. Several cases in the research study have provided evidence of hepatocellular carcinoma misdiagnosed as hepatic hemangioma. So what is the conclusion that it should be kept in mind that some tumors like hepatocellular carcinoma could mimic giant hepatic hemangioma in imaging scans. Therefore, needle liver biopsy may be essential for correct diagnosis in case of doubt or discrepancy in imaging scans.